Megan, thank you so much. So we're going to walk over to Cynthia now, who's ready for us with the styling. Okay, hi Cynthia. Hi, Chrissy. How are you, my darling? I'm good, how are you? Okay, I'm very well, thanks. Cool. So what are you going to t tell us about today? Okay, well I have two things to cover today. Uh, the first is going to carry on with Megan's uh, wedding theme. Mm -hmm. I was very inspired by the wedding exhibition that has just been put on by the Victoria and Albert Museum. Okay. It's called Wedding Dresses, and I have a few slides to go through. Okay. So the first slide basically uh, shows the exhibition room. It spans over two floors and it is showing uh, wedding dresses from 1775 to present. So that's about 239 years of wedding dresses. Mm, so you can see wow. in the corner there, we've got this lovely purple Vivian Westwood dress that was chosen uh, for Dita Von Dies in 2005. So the next slide, Basically, if I could just give a key sort of point to this mm -hmm. exhibition, it was to challenge that idea of the white wedding dress, this traditional, it has to be white, it has to be something that I only wear once and then put away for 15 years. If you look at the slide there, we've got red, we've got patterns, we've got things that can be worn again. Mm -hmm. In fact, wedding dresses actually back then were chosen to be worn again and again oh, and have really? multi-purpose. Yeah. That's right. right nowadays. <laughs> right. And the main thing is, is like any other garment and probably especially this garment, because it will be the most important dress that you wear in your life, your personality should come through mm -hmm. and the personal style should shine through. So I have um, two of my favorites that I just want to highlight. Uh, two more slides. This one here is Gwen Stefani's wedding dress that was created oh. by John Galliano uh, when he worked for Dior in 2002. And also Gavin Rosdale wore that lovely Dior suit. Now you can see it's a beautiful silk dip dyed mm -hmm. in pink dress. So it really brings out her sort of it? like yeah. punky yeah. and her artistic um, style. The last one here is um, the beautiful Kate Moss got married to Jamie Hens in 2011. And again, John Galliano stepped up and really brought her, her vision to life. Now she was very inspired by the great Gatsby. So you can see that lovely 1920s silhouette. You can mm -hmm. see the, you know, the, the beading, the phoenix feathers on the train. You can see um, the veil, everything is quite great Gatsby. And uh, her husband there, Jamie Hens, had um, Yves Saint Laurent. Do right. that. Definitely. There, so. Right.